Today we are going to cover chapter 2 that is animals of class 2 NSO workbook. Let's start. Let's see what all things can be asked from this chapter. Domestic and wild animals, homes of animals, eating habits of animals, sounds of animals, young ones of animals, things we get from animals and how do we care animals. So let's see the major types of animals. Here it is categorized as domestic animals and wild animals. Domestic animals are those that can be tamed by humans, whereas wild animals are those that live in forest, etc. For example, tiger, zebra, and many more. Now, within domestic animals, we have two categories here. One is pet animals, and the other one is farm animals. What are pet animals? Animals that are kept at home. For example, your pet dog, cat, etc. And farm animals are those that are kept in farms. For example, cow, hen, etc. Let's talk about different things we get from animals. Let's see. The first one here mentioned is milk. That we get from cow, buffalo, goat and camel. Those gives us milk. Next one is we get silk from silkworm. You can see the cocoon form. Then we get the silk from there. Next one is we get honey and wax from honeybees. Next, hen, duck and goose give us eggs. Then the skin of animals such as snake, goat, sheep, buffalo, camel, etc. After they are dead is used as leather to make different products. More, the hair the body of the sheep, goat, rabbit, yak, etc. are used to make wool. So these are the key things that we get from animals. Let's see eating habits of animals and their category. Herbivores are those animals that eat plants. For example, deer, zebra, giraffe. Carnivores are those animals that eat flesh of other animals. For example, crocodile, snake, tiger, etc. Omnivores are the animals that eat both plants as well as flesh of other animals. For example, bear crow. Now there is one more that is scavengers and they, they are the animals that eat flesh of dead bodies of other animals. For example, vulture, eagle, etc. Okay. Now let's see animal, their sound, home and young one. Very less are given over here. There are many more. So go and explore and talk to your parents and teachers to understand more. I am covering only those which are mentioned in the workbook. So for loin, sound is roar. Home is den. Young one is cup. For horse, sound is neigh. Home is stable. Young one is foal. For cow, sound is moo. Home is shed. And young one is calf. For sheep, sound is bleat. Home is pen. Young one is lamb. Dog, sound is bark. Home is kennel and young one is puppy. On animals, we have a couple of videos in our playlist that is educational videos. Go check out the link in description box. Now let's solve some questions. Question 1. Which of these activities we should not do? Okay. A. A boy is feeding an animal. It is good. B. Boy is hurting an animal. Which is not okay. C. The boy is bathing an animal. It's good. D. All of these. So right now here in this question. B is the right option. Because we should not hurt animals. We should be kind, kind to them. Okay. Question 2. Select the incorrect match out of the following. Tiger. Grawls. That's correct. Elephant. Knee. No. Elephant. Trumpets. So, we already got our incorrect match. Option B. Question 3. Dash is the name of the baby of the animal shown here. The animal shown in the given picture is a kangaroo. And baby of a kangaroo is called Joey. Option A is the right answer. Question 4. Moo, moo, where are you? Come to me. I will give tasty dash to you. Now, who does moo, moo? It's cow. And what? Does cow give us? It's milk. So the right answer here is option C. Question 5. Which of the following options on unscrambling will give the names of the houses of bee and cattle? So let's first understand the name of the house of bee. That is hive. 
for cattle it is shed let's see which one gives us so for option a we'll get whole and sty not the correct option for b we get hive and shed so we already got our answer that is b but let's unscumble other also c is shed and whole d is den and cave right answer is option b hive and shed question 6 which among these is a scavenger animal okay so scavenger animal i told you right they are the one those eat the remains of dead animals vulture jackal hyena all of these are scavengers so option is d which is correct question 7 select the habit that we should not follow taking your pet to the vet that is doctor of animals whenever required it's very good keeping bowl of water for animals outside your house during summer hot summer days that is also good tying fryer crackers on the tail of stray animals no we should not tie fryer crackers on the tail of stray animals because it can injure or burn them we should not harm stray or wild or any animal so option c is not a good thing to follow and that is our answer Question eight. Ravi was asked to make four groups each with three animals which are useful to humans in a similar way. Like all three will be giving the same thing. But he made a mistake. Select the option with a mistake. Now let's see all the options. Okay. A is sheep, yak, and rabbit. And there is one thing common. Wool is obtained from fur of sheep, yak, and rabbit. So this is correct one. Then uh, next one is cow, goat, buffalo. Cow, goat, and buffalo give us milk. There is something in common. This is also correct. C is hen, duck, and goose. We eat eggs of these birds. All of these, right? So this is also correct. Moving to the next one, that is elephant, honeybee, and crocodile. So this is the incorrect one because elephant and crocodile skin are used for making leather. Whereas honey bee is a source of honey, so they are not similar in terms of what they give. Option D is the correct answer for us. Question nine: Which of the following statements is correct? Grass-eating animals have strong, broad back teeth to grind their food. This is absolutely correct. Have you seen any cow or have you seen deer? How they chew their food? Then B is flesh eating animals have pointed teeth to tear the flesh. This is also correct. Some animals have sharp front teeth, both in upper and lower jaw, to break open fruits and nuts. Have you seen squirrel? They have really sharp front teeth. So this is also correct. For us, the right option is D. All of these are correct statements. Question ten. Select the option which, on unscrambling, gives the name of the home of horse. Can you tell me what is the name of the home of the horse? It's stable. And which option gives us stable? It's option C. Question eleven. In the given diagram, what would deer be called? Let's see the diagram. Grass is eaten by deer, and deer is eaten by a lion. So, what would deer be called? Free animal, pet animal, domestic animal, or none of these? So prey is an animal that is killed and eaten by another animal who is called predator. In this given case, deer is the prey and lion is its predator. So option A, prey animal, is the right answer. Question twelve: Which of the following animals does or do not help us in carrying load? Let's see. Ah, uh, here donkey is given, then elephant is there, camel is there, and pig is there. So donkey, elephant, and camel help us in carrying loads, whereas pig is a farm animal which gives us meat. It is not helpful in carrying any load. So for us, option C for only is the right answer. Question thirteen. Select the option that correctly matches the objects shown here with the animals from which we get them. Let's see. Ah, uh, we have cap, then we have belt, and then we have a silk sari. Okay. so we get wool from sheep yak etc which is used to make woolen cap okay then we get leather from camel snakes etc so for two it would be either camel or snake 
then uh, we get silk from silk worm which is used to make silk sarees okay now let's see one yak three goat we do not get silk from goat so it is incorrect b is two camel three sheep again sheep is not giving us silk it is incorrect c is two snake it is correct leather we get from snakes then three is silk worm it is also correct because silk sari we get silk from silk worm option c is the right answer for us question 14 starting from the first letter strike out every alternate letter in the given options and select the one that gives name of young one of the animal shown here so here the animal is bear and bears ego young one is called cub and we have to find which option will give us cub now let's do we'll strike out the first letter and then all alternate one let's do for a we did it and we got lamb for b we got calf for c we got kid and for d we got cub so the right answer is option d 15 match column 1 with column 2 and select the correct option column 1 a camel camel is called ship of the desert a matches 4 cheetah is fastest land animal b matches 5 giraffe is the tallest land animal c matches 2 elephant is the largest land animal d matches 3 and lion is the king of the jungle e matches 1 so for us the right option is c let's do some questions from achievers section question 16 study the given word grid and answer the following questions a how many names of animals who carry heavy loot are hidden in the word grid let's find them Mm, okay while going from top to bottom i got one that's horse and then i got the other one also that is oxen and nothing else so we got two of them now let's see b how many names of animal products are hidden in the word grid okay and i got the first one that is honey while going from left to right and again while going from left to right i got say and that is all so we got two names of animals who carry heavy loads and we got two names of animal products so the right answer is option b question 17 study the given classification chart where should one peacock and two louts be placed let's see peacock is a bird that can fly so let's go in the category under animal bird is there and under bird there are two option can fly cannot fly so we'll choose option c right animal bird can fly peacock is the one bird that can fly so for peacock that is for one it should be c okay and we have in option c and d one as c so the competition is between option c and d now let's talk about louse louse is an insect that cannot fly so under animal we will go to insect and then we will choose the one which is cannot fly that is b so for two it should be b for one it should be c for two it should be b and the correct option is option c question 18 study the given figure and select the correct option regarding it let's see the venn diagram here the plant eating wild animal is called y flesh eating wild animal is called z and both like plant and flesh eating animal wild animal is called x let's see the options here it is mentioned x represents bear what is bear bear is a wild animal that eats both flesh and plants that means bear should fall into the category of x and this statement is correct x is bear who is omnivores then b y represents zebra now who is zebra zebra is a wild animal that eats plants only and zebra should be y as per the diagram and that's also a correct statement now moving to c z represents lion lion is a wild animal that eats flesh only so lion should be z so this statement is also correct that means all of these are correct option d is the right answer 
question 19 what are x and y in the given rhyme let's see the rhyme set the x to the y okay good gracious how you hop over the field as if you would never stop so now here x is saying to y that how you hop that means y is an animal that hops okay let's remember that and that to hops in in the field so it can be kangaroo right now let's see more my life is a bore in this hasty pond that means x is the one that lives in water and out of hen camel fish and duck it's fish and duck both that lives in water but for why kangaroo should be there because snake does not hop so the right answer should be option c fish lives in water kangaroo hops both matches as per the rhyme question 20 refer to the given flow chart and select the option that correctly matches okay let's see uh, there is a wild animal if it is no then plant any animal and if it is yes then q if it is no then p wild animal that is scavenger if it is yes then r if no then s okay let's see option a p can be deer or zebra now here deer and zebra both are wild animals that eat plants so they cannot be p because here clearly it is written that p is not a wild animal and not a plant eating animal whereas deer and zebra both are wild animal and they both eat plants so it is not correct going to the b q can be the animal whose young one is called calf and it gives us milk now q can be cow right because cow gives us milk and its young one is also called calf and it is a domestic animal that eats plant let's see uh, whether it qualifies for q q should be a plant it eating animal that is not wild animal and if we talk about q as cow cow is a plant eating animal and it is not a wild animal that means it is a domestic animal so this is a correct option we already got our correct option right that is option b let's see c r can be vulture while s can be striped hyena now r can be vulture which is right because here R is a wild animal that is scavenger and vulture is wild animal that is scavenger. But same is also with hyena. Hyena is also a scavenger whereas it is categorized as S over here. That means S is something which is not scavenger whereas striped hyena is scavenger. So option C is not correct. And option D is obviously not correct because we already got a right statement that is option B. I hope you learned a lot from this video and chapter 3 is upcoming so keep watching kids funzy laugh and learn if you have not yet subscribed the channel do so because these chapters these practice questions are really gonna help you in your upcoming nso examination thank you bye bye